Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, I don't know about you guys, but it finally, finally feels like fall here in North Carolina. We had a chilly morning with frost on all of the flowers and the leaves and on the ground and oh, it just felt so invigorating and cleansing and just wonderful. And it got me thinking about fall fabrics. We have been reviewing a lot of the patterns that have been coming out as part of the fall collections. Uh, at this point, everybody has released their fall collections and they're already working on winter, but that doesn't mean that we're just going to skip fall, we are still making clothes that we're going to be wearing for the next few months uh, before the temperatures really dip down. Um, so uh, it, to help me do this, I got in uh, my Vogue Fabrics Fall 2019 swatch catalog. You guys might remember this. I talked about it a couple of months ago and um, I thought this would be a good way for us to kind of highlight some of the fabrics that really scream fall, the fabrics that you're going to want to be using to make some of those fall patterns. And we'll talk about matching those things up here shortly. But this is the catalog. This is how it comes to you in these little um, like packets that are all separated out. And then it corresponds with the uh, catalog. When I get my catalog in, what I like to do is go ahead and open all of that up and then get some double-sided tape and just go ahead and stick the fabrics into the catalog like so. So they're all there and it's very like touchable <laughs> and organized and it just helps me keep everything all in one place. I can store all of these away in one of those like uh, folder, folder, oh, they're like cardboard folder organizer, I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. You can get them at Target. You can get them anywhere. Um, and so you can put them all in there and then you, you know, have lots of fabrics to refer back to. So I like to shop from these catalogs, but I also like to use it as sort of like a fabric reference. Like if a pattern calls for some particular kind of fabric and I'm not really recalling what that's like, I can flip through these, find one that's similar and then know, okay, now I can visualize what kind of structure, what kind of drape, you know, what kind of fabric they have in mind, the designers have in mind for said particular pattern. So, um, so yeah, I love to hold on to these and use it as sort of like a fabric encyclopedia or something. So it's nice to have all the fabrics all taped in so that, you know, you never lose those little swatches. Okay, so let's talk about some of the fabrics that we um, have been hearing a lot about in the fall collections. So when I think about fall fashion, I think about transition. I think about moving your wardrobe from summer to winter and what you would wear in the meantime. And a lot of that for me means sleeves. It means longer hemlines. It means uh, light layers. It means lightweight jackets. You know, all of that kind of stuff that can help you take your wardrobe from summer to winter without freezing outside <laughs> or without also being super hot because you're wearing winter clothes whenever it's still 70 degrees outside. So in the fall fabrics catalog, there are a lot of really, really great options to help you achieve that. So a lot of us might be considering making pants for the first time, maybe all year long, or certainly at least in the last six to eight months. Um, and pants fabric tends to be pretty specific, especially whenever you get into fall and winter. And when you're dealing with not lightweight, breezy, uh, fitting pants, but you're you're dealing with more fitted, usually have a zip front, uh, you know, a waistband, you know, that kind of stuff. So in the fall catalog, they have a lot of really uh, awesome options. The first one 
is sort of, it's like, it's called duck cloth and it's made from cotton and it's kind of like a canvas. So you can, you can imagine like a utility type pant that would be really good for that. They also have a pinwheel corduroy in a couple of different colors, which kind of feels like very kind of suede in a way. It's very, very soft and plush. That would make really great pants. And even like knit pants. Uh, I purchased pants before that are made from something similar to like a Ponty that I wore all winter long with uh, knee high boots underneath and it was warm enough for me. I get that some of you are coming from basically the Arctic like Wisconsin, where it's super cold. Um, but for fall, that might be a really good option for you. And they have a lot of uh, this, what are they calling it? Um, well, that's a stretch gabardine suiting. That would certainly make for great pants. I swear there was like this ponty in here. Hold on, let me find it. Uh, another stretch gabardine. Those make really, really nice fall uh, suiting. So there's this double jersey, it's 12 ounces, which is similar in weight to a Ponty, and it comes in a lot of really, really great colors. It's structured, not a ton of drape, and it's not going to wrinkle a ton either, which is also really, really nice. Um, so yeah, they have that as an option. They have a black suede knit, which would make kind of like a really nice lightweight fall pant. Um, so if you're looking for bottom weight stuff, they still have that in the fall. It's just not going to be like what we're used to in summer, which is like linens or even light breezy skirts out of Rayon Chalet or anything like that. When it comes down to fall, you're looking for utility. You're looking for something that you can wear, get a lot of wear out of. Um, let's be real, making pants is not easy. So you don't want to be cranking out like a ton of pants. You want the ones that you do make to last a really, really long time. And they have a lot of really good options for that um, in here. Another thing that comes up in fall a lot is sweater knits. So I don't know about you, I'm not into knitting. I don't wanna knit anything, but I do like having that knit-like uh, sweater. And you can use, you can make one of those by using a sweater knit and sewing it like you would basically a t-shirt. Um, they also have really lovely sweater knit dresses in the fall. You can find some patterns um, that are specifically made for that, or you can kind of fudge the suggested fabrics a little bit and use a sweater knit uh, based on the uh, stretch requirement of the pattern. So my favorite, favorite fabric in this entire catalog is this pink and gray sweater knit here. It's very lightweight. It's very soft. Um, it's made of rayon, polyester, and lycra, and it has 70% of a crosswise stretch. So that is a good amount of stretch for just about any knit pattern that you have in your pattern stash. Um, but obviously you can make tops from it. It would make a really beautiful like cowl neck because the rayon is so lightweight and drapey. It would create some really beautiful folds around the neck. Obviously a wrap dress with long sleeves for the fall. That would be beautiful. Put it with some, you know, knee high boots and you are ready to go. Um, but it would also make a really great cardigan and like a layering piece that you might be able to add to a summertime sleeveless top or dress. So yeah, we talked about the double jersey, which I just think is is a really, really great option for pants, but it also makes a really great um, like fit and flare dress. If, if you added some sleeves, I think that the jersey would be really, really awesome. Um, it's, it's like a ponty. If you can imagine what a ponty like dress would be, um, that's very, very similar. Um, another really great aspect of fall fashion are is the concept of uh, lightweight drapey tops to pair with all of your new pants that you're making, but in really bold, fun colors. And they have a lot of that in here as well. So they have this really beautiful stretch crepe in my favorite color of all time, this cranberry color. They also have this coordinating printed denim that 
you know, in the catalog, they do coordinate prints for you, which is, which is nice. And then they show you what the print looks like in its entirety. So that's really nice because you only get this little two by three swatch, but this is what the entire print looks like. So that's fun. But what I wanted to mention specifically were the crepes that they have. Crepe is a wonderful fabric for fall. Um, it's really a seasonless fabric. So you can make something like a top out of this leopard print, for example. And then in the fall, you know, you pair it with some, you know, brownish corduroy. In the winter, you can put it with denim. In the summer, you I'm sorry, in the spring, you can put it with like a lightweight black skirt. Um, and in the summer, you can even pair it with some cute little shorts. So crepe is one of those, those fabrics that's going to get you year round usage. Now you will limit that a little bit depending on how you style it if you or how you design it. If you add sleeves to it, for example, that might be a little hot in the summer, but if you make it sleeveless, then that might be a little bit cold in the winter. So you just have to think about your lifestyle, where you live, the climate um, where you live. But if I made a sleeveless crepe top, I could wear that just about year round with some of those light layering pieces that I am talking about. They also have these, uh, this really beautiful flannel. So flannel is traditionally kind of like a winter fabric. You think about it in pajamas or like a flannel shirt that is like more utility. You wear it outside, has lots of pockets to hold all your things, but they are making these really lovely lightweight flannels that can carry you from fall into winter and into some of the spring. And this one is 100% cotton flannel. It's this beautiful like plaid print that looks like this. And they're suggesting it in kind of like a shawl cape type of deal. So certainly that would make a great layering piece to put over your shoulders, but you could also make a beautiful scarf from it and you wouldn't even need that much yardage for it. It's $8 a yard. I mean, so you could have a really beautiful um, flannel moment without being full on winter flannel sitting by the fire snow outside. You know what I mean? So it's a great way with the coloring and with the weight of it to kind of take something that's a little bit more winter and make it more suitable for fall. So this is covering, I mean, this fall catalog covers just about every single fabric that you are gonna see mentioned in any of the big four patterns or any of the indie patterns that we are reviewing in our first impression Fridays. But uh, Vogue does a really great job Vogue Fabrics, that is, does a really great job of taking their fabrics and pairing it with a, with a pattern that they recommend. So if you're completely lost, like I love this red polka dot, what would I ever make from it? They have a suggestion for you. So you can either take this exact suggestion or you can kind of use that as reference. Like, okay, they're recommending a somewhat fitted uh, shift type dress, maybe with some darting or pleating or something like that. And you can kind of use it as a little bit of a reference. So that'll help keep you focused and make sure that you are pairing the right fabric with the right pattern. And as a beginner or even as an intermediate sewist, that was truly like the hardest part of learning. It wasn't even really learning how to sew. It was learning how to match up patterns and fabrics. And this little guy is gonna do a really great job. So hopefully I was able to show you guys some of the ideal fabrics for fall. They have a ton of other fabrics in here that I didn't even mention, like broadcloth, like, um, that's we went over that, we went over that. <laughs> We've hit on a lot of them. Cotton sateen is in here, which you guys know is one of my absolute favorites. They have a beautiful version of that. There's more broadcloth. There's some uh, t-shirt weight jersey knit, which is really lovely, speaking of layering pieces. So there's a lot of really, really great options in here. You guys can order your 2019 catalog right now, the fall edition. Winter will be coming out in a few weeks, so you will be a little bit ahead of the game. And the best news of all is a year's worth of these, which is six, they give out six catalogs a year, is only 30 bucks. 
And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite fabric for fall, how about that for alliteration, your favorite fall fabric. Um, let me know what that is in the comment section below and be sure to check the description box. I will have a lot of information for you there like what I'm wearing, where you can get the catalog, and I even have a coupon code for you. So head to the description box to check that out. And uh, that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.